you guys and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, welcome here. My name is Eleanor Josefina and today for you guys, I have a deodorant review for you. So I will be comparing the two deodorants, um, one by Lumi and the other one by Schmitz deodorant. They're both like all natural organic -y deodorants that I have been using for at least a year or two. This Lumi deodorant I have been using for the past six months and then the Schmitz deodorant I have been using for at least the past two years. I think this is my third stick I've been on. So first I'm gonna start out with the Lumi deodorant and then I will move on to the Schmitz deodorant. If you guys want to see the Schmitz deodorant, I will leave um, a time up for you guys if you guys just wanna jump ahead. And then at the end of this video, I will be comparing um, the two deodorants together and I will leave also a time up for that just in case if you guys want to jump up um, to that time frame to see the comparison of the two deodorants. Also at the way end of the video, I will have a little like tip and trick for people who do want to start using all natural deodorants but they don't really know how to because one thing about all natural deodorants is that it doesn't stop you from sweating, it just stops you from smelling bad. So at the end of this video, I do have a tip and trick that I will share with you guys that kind of helps me when I don't want to look like I'm sweating. It's kind of a natural fabric, something that has definitely saved me and has helped me with the transition of moving to all natural deodorants. So starting off with Lumi, Lumi is a great like all natural um, deodorant. It is aluminum free, baking soda free, doctor developed and hypoallergenic, which basically means that more than likely you're not gonna break out from this deodorant. I actually do break out from baking soda, which this does not have in it. And this retails for $13.99. They do have five cents on their website and I actually own two of them. Um, I own the Juniper Berry and I also own the Jasmine Rose. I will say that I like this scent a lot more than the Juniper Berry. So what I'll just say about the Juniper Berry really quick, it does sound like it'd be a good smelling scent just by like the name of it. But to be totally honest, for me it just smells a little bit too much like grass. And my sister also used this deodorant and she kind of had a funny way of putting it but so true that when she put this on after a couple of hours she kind of smelled like dirty grass. I know that sounds weird but it's actually really true. I just find that I actually smell worse sometimes when I do wear this particular scent. And then the Jasmine Rose for me actually does smell a lot better so I would recommend this one, the Jasmine Rose any day over the juniper berry. But what I will say about both of the deodorants is that I don't know if it's the ingredients inside them, I'm not quite sure what it is, but for an organic, like all natural deodorant, they don't really work the best for me. I find that the juniper berry um, stays on for a good like two to three hours before like I need to reapply. And once again, I almost find that I smell almost worse when I do wear it for long periods of time. Whereas the juniper berry, I can wear for like five to six hours before I kind of start smelling bad and I need to reapply once again. For me, when I look for an all natural deodorant, I just want something that will kind of carry me through the entire workday. So at least like an eight, nine, 10 hour day. Um, and between this and the Schmitz deodorant, I do find that the Schmitz deodorant helps me smell better a lot longer. One thing that Lumi does say is that it is a 74 hour protection. I did not find that that was true at all. Again, I start kind of smelling bad around the three to six hour range. One nice thing about Lumi though is that the texture is really nice. The texture kind of has this kind of like soft buttery feeling. Like imagine like softened butter when you leave it on the counter for a long period of time, that's the texture of it. Like that's the exact texture of the Lumi deodorants. And you honestly need like the tiniest bit uh, under your underarm because if you use too much, it kind of creates this sticky moist feeling under your underarm. So I would suggest just using like the smallest amount um, in this case. So again, the benefits of this is I really do like the texture. I really do love this scent of it. Again, I've only tried two of their scents. I also do love that it is baking soda free because I do break out from it. But the downside of it is I think it's a little bit overpriced um, at $13.99. It's definitely on the more expensive side of like the kind of organic and all natural deodorants. And the other downside to it is that it does claim to be a 72 hour um, protection, which I definitely found that that was not true for me. Again, it's kind of between that three to six hour range. So now onto the Schmitz deodorant. Depending on the Schmitz deodorant and like the formula, they come with or without um, baking soda. So I have the scent Lily of the Valley and this is in the sensitive skin formula. They also do have it in like the normal formula. The difference between the two is that the sensitive formula does not have any baking soda in it. The two other Schmitz scents that I did purchase before was the rose one, I believe, and also the charcoal one. The charcoal one did make me break out 
out because my skin has a weird reaction to charcoal, but also it had baking soda in it. As of right now, I have not broken out from Lily of the Valley, the sensitive formula um, of this one, but I will say off the bat that I do like the Schmitz deodorant over the Lumi deodorant. So the first reason I do like this deodorant better than the Lumi deodorant is because of the price. The Lumi deodorant um, retails for $13.99, and then the Schmitz deodorant, depending on kind of the scent and depending on if it's a sensitive formula or a regular formula, they retail anywhere from $7.99 all the way up until I believe $10.99. They also have like a better range of scents. They have 11 cents in their normal formula and then they have another 11 cents in their sensitive formula deodorant and then they have another six cents that come um, in a little jar so instead of like a plastic tube it'll come in a little jar so overall they have a lot more scents that you can choose from versus the Lumi deodorants. I will also say that all the scents that I have purchased from Schmidt's deodorant the rose and the charcoal and then now this one the lily of the valley I have loved all of them even though the charcoal one did make me break out it was a good smelling deodorant. One thing I I will say about the Schmitz deodorant is the texture is a little bit different. It is a little bit more of a chalky feeling and I have heard that is because it has arrowroot in it which gives it a little bit more of a chalky feeling to it. Just like the Lumi deodorant it's kind of a less is more kind of thing. The less you actually use the better it kind of feels under your underarms. Using two to three swipes of this I have found works best for me. Another thing I do love way more that Schmitz does that Lumi seems to not do is their return policy. Schmitz has like a 60 day 100% like guarantee return policy which basically means if you buy it and you don't like it after 30 days or 45 days or something you can return it for like a full refund or you can return it and get like a new scent that you would like to try out and this is something that I really appreciated because when I was kind of getting on the bandwagon of wanting to get into more all-natural deodorants it was really important to me that I could use the product first before really like committing to it so I've never returned one of Schmidt's deodorant and I've actually never returned one of the Lumi deodorants either but I will say that I probably would have returned the Lumi deodorant if I would have been able to because the Lumi deodorant actually only gives you like a 30 day window for returning the product and that is like from the day of purchase not the day it delivers to your house but the day like you purchased it so what I found kind of frustrating was that I bought the Lumi deodorant it came to my house I had like a week or two to try it out and then I would have needed to send it back. So just between the two return policies, I did find that I did like the Schmitz deodorant return policy just a little bit more than the Lumi um, return policy. So onto the comparison of the two deodorants because I know at the end of the day, some deodorant formulas just work better for some people. So this is literally just my opinion and which one has worked better for me. Between the two, I really do like both of the formulas. This one again is a little bit more buttery textury feeling and this one's a little bit Bit more chalky feeling but it doesn't feel chalky under your underarms it only feels chalky when it's like in the jar so I would use Lumi if you have tried other all-natural deodorants and they have not worked for you or you have broken out for them or you really don't like them I would definitely try out Lumi then and then I would just say that if you did not like it or did not like the formula I would use their 30-day return policy and return it so I do use these as backup deodorants to my Schmitz deodorant. Um, I keep one in my bathroom just in case if I lose my Schmitz deodorant and I keep the other one in my backpack. Also, if you're someone who doesn't like stink or maybe sweat a lot, I would definitely say try the Lumi deodorant out then because again, after a couple of hours, I found that I kind of started to smell a little bit. Um, again, it's not gonna stop you from sweating just because all natural deodorants aren't supposed to stop you from sweating. But once again, if you've tried other all natural deodorants and you found that nothing has worked for you, or you keep breaking out from other deodorants or if you've already tried the Schmitz deodorant, I would say then yes, definitely give Lumi a try. Again, there's a 30-day return policy, so I would definitely say give it a try. Now onto the Schmitz deodorant. I do like this one more than the Lumi deodorant. That's just my honest opinion. I love that they have a sensitive formula. I love the scent of this a lot more. I like the price of this more and I like the um, return window of the Schmitz deodorant more. If you like the texture of regular deodorants, I would definitely say give the Schmitz one a try then because the Schmitz deodorant definitely does have a look and a feel of a regular deodorant. So if that is something that is very important to you, I would definitely say go with the Schmitz 
um, deodorant. So now on to my tip and trick that I have. Once again, you guys, the downsides to any all natural deodorant is basically that it doesn't stop you from sweating, it just kind of stops you from smelling bad. I do find that with the Schmitz deodorant, it helps me stop sweating a little bit more than the um, Lumi deodorant, but it doesn't stop me from sweating completely. But to kind of combat me smelling bad or looking like I'm sweating, my boyfriend introduced me to um, a fabric called Merino wool. And basically what Merino wool is, is a wool that comes from a sheep. And basically their wool is antibacterial. And so I do have a shirt to show you guys. I bought this secondhand because Merino wool can be quite expensive. So I did buy this secondhand, but it is 100% merino wool. And so merino wool is antibacterial, which basically means the fabric will not stink because it will not hold on to the kind of bacteria that comes from you sweating. So if I know it's going to be a long day, I will put on some all natural deodorant and then I will wear one of my merino wool shirts. And basically since it's just a black shirt, you can't see any sort of um, sweat stains. And then I find throughout the day that I won't smell either because it's an antibacterial fabric. So basically what that means is like the shirt itself won't start smelling bad. You might start smelling bad after like eight, nine, 10 hour day, but the shirt itself won't start smelling bad and it won't look like you have any sweat stains or anything. And merino wool is also really good for camping because what you can do, and I know this might sound a little disgusting, but literally what you can do is you can wear the shirt all day long, you can take it off, put it inside out, let it dry, and then you can literally wear it the next day without it smelling bad. Because again, it doesn't trap any bacteria in the fabric. So I will leave some links down to secondhand companies that I use to purchase my merino wool because again, it is quite expensive. The merino wool has become a lifesaver for me because I do not want to wear regular deodorants. Personally, I don't like that they have um, some toxins in them. I don't like that there's aluminum in them. I do think your body is meant to sweat. That's what our bodies have been doing for generations. And so I want to wear all natural deodorants. And I know the biggest hurdle for me when I was starting to wear all natural deodorant is that I didn't want to look like I was sweating and I didn't want to um, smell bad. So anyway guys, that is my tip and trick for you guys. I hope you guys really like this video and the comparison between the Lumi deodorant versus the Schmitz deodorant. Again, overall, this is just my personal opinion. I've only used the Lumi deodorant for like six or seven months now, but I have been using Schmitz deodorant for like two, three years now. And that is just my honest opinion. I went from using two of the Schmitz deodorant to hopping to Lumi. I found that I did not like it um, after a couple of months and I switched back to the Schmitz deodorant again. Let me know in the comment section below, you guys, if you have any recommendations for all natural deodorants that you have found that have worked for you. I will also leave links to Lumi deodorant and Schmitz deodorants websites down in the description box below. Also you guys, if you guys could hit that likes up button and also that subscribe button and that little bell button next to it because that will notify you every single time I do upload a new video. I hope you guys are all doing well during the current situation of the coronavirus. I hope you guys are just all safe and well and that your families are too. But that is it you guys. I love you guys all so much and I will see you in my next video. Bye you guys.